Well, the water is starting to come back in Rotterdam, where a massive water main break caused big problems last night. A nearly two-foot-wide pipe broke, sending water flowing into the streets. Brandon Lewis spoke with a teenager who protected his family's home. I came down here to throw some stuff out, and I look over there, and water just starts rushing in like a river. Around 4 Friday evening, thousands of gallons of water started pouring from this main underneath Curry Road, heading straight for Tyler McTagg's home. I took a whole bunch of bricks we had laying around, and I lined them up this way so that the water wouldn't just flood and rush the area and got a whole bunch of debris and stuff so it didn't get all too far onto our lawn. How well did that work? Pretty well, it seems. Until 30 minutes in, it just started coming over the wall, and it receded after about an hour when the water crew got here. Even with his family's help, they weren't fast enough to protect this snowmobile. But two others closer to the home were saved, along with the family's basement. Not everyone was so lucky. At least one homeowner on Hollywood Avenue had his basement completely flooded, and several others had mud and other debris enter. The height of the break, we estimated about 120,000 gallons an hour we were losing. Uh, we worked through the night to get it turned down. The break was capped more than 12 hours later, around 5 a.m., and it took about 12 hours more to get water restored. Initially, the county health department advised residents to boil water when it came back, but the town later said it wasn't needed because the damage was contained to a small area and the water was safe, although it still advised to flush the system for at least three minutes. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News, Rotterdam.